Hello and welcome to the video by Trump Excel. I am Sumit Bansal and in this video I will show you how to create multiple drop down lists in Excel without repetition. Let me first show you what I mean by multiple drop downs without repetition. So here I have a sample meeting agenda where there are five roles meeting introduction, three presenters and meeting wrap up. And I have these drop downs here in each of these cells and these individuals can take these roles. But the idea is that one person can take up only one role. So when I select say Tom here for meeting introduction, the name Tom does not appear in this list. Now when I say select Joe as presenter one, then these two names should not appear in the list going forward. So for example, if I select Mary here as presenter two, then in presenter three, I do not see these three names because these three roles have already been taken and so on and so forth. I can make the remaining selections. So you can see that as soon as I select one name, it does not repeat in other multiple drop down lists. Now to create this, let me go to another workbook. And here I have this sample meeting agenda. I do not have the drop down list here because that is what we are trying to create. And I would go to the another this another tab called list. And here I would create the backend data that would work there in the multi in the drop down list. Here I have the list of people that you saw in the drop down and I would use four helper columns. So in helper column one, I would use the formula if and I would use count if count if and the range is this. So what I'm trying to say here is count this range F4 to lock the references and see if this name appears. And if this value is greater than zero, then give me a blank, else give me this name. And I hit enter. Now let me tell you what happens here. What I'm trying to say here is that count the times, the number of times this name Joe appears here in this list. And if the number of times it appears is more than zero, so it could be one, it could be two. If it is more than zero, then this name should not appear here, else it should appear. So to give you a demo, let me go back here and type the name Joe. And now let me go to the list tab and you can see the name Joe does not appear here because it has already come here in this list. Let me go back. Now, the formula I use here is if this cell is not equal to empty then give me row number which would range from 1 to 1 2 3 and so on and so forth else give me a blank and I hit enter and what this does is this would check whether this cell is empty or not. If this cell is empty, then it if this cell is not empty, then it gives you the row number. So rows C3 colon C3 would give you one. As I go down, this would give you two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Only if the name is here. If the name is not here, then this would be a blank. So let me go back and again type Joe here hit enter and now when I come here to the list I can see that there is no name here and since there is no name here there is no number here. Let me go back and delete Joe from here. Now in helper column 3 I need to get all these numbers that appear here so as you saw it might be a case that if Joe and Tom are there in that list this number would not appear here so I would need only these numbers so I need all those numbers of the names that are not in the drop down list. So to do that I would use small function and I say take this entire array and give me the first smallest number, the second smallest number, the third smallest number, so on and so forth. So to do that I use rows function and I say give me this, give me the first smallest number if I select rows D3 is to D3 and I hit F9, you can see this gives me one. But since I've logged the first D3, when I go down, this D3 becomes D3 is to D4. And this gives me 
the value as 2. So if I select this and I hit F9, this gives me 2, which means that this says in this array, give me the second smallest number. Minor mistake, I need to lock this cell reference. So now when I drag this down, I get these numbers. Again, let me showcase if I type Joe here and say Craig here and I go back in my list, I can see that these two names do not appear because they are there in the drop-down list and they have already been selected. So only the names that remain, those numbers appear here. And for those numbers, these get stack up. So here I have blank, then two, blank, two, four, five, six, seven. But here, all these numbers get stacked up. I can see that there is an error. So to avoid that, I can use if error along with small so I say if error give this value but if uh, if there is no error give this value but if there is an error give me blank and I hit enter double click and this goes away now let me again go back and clear this now when I have these numbers the idea is to get those names stacked up here that have not been repeated in the drop-down list so to do that I use index and I say index array is this, all these names, F4 to lock it. And the row number is, is the number here. And I do not need to include a column number because it's only uh, the column. These are only uh, the cells in the columns that I've selected. There are no rows. So index is smart enough to identify that there is only one column. And hence, it will take the value from that column only. And I hit enter. And this gives me Joe as soon as I drag it down. This gives me the name of all these names. Again, let me go back to this drop down. Let me type Joe here, maybe Tom here, and Greg here. And now when I come here, I can see that these three names have already appeared in the drop down list. So they do not appear here. I am left with these names. And hence, I am left with these numbers. These numbers get stacked up here and come at the top. And all these names come here. Again, I have this problem of error. So to avoid that, I would use if error value. And if there is an error, then blank. I hit enter and I double click. In case you're using uh, Microsoft 2003 or earlier versions, you would not have if error function. Then in that case, you can use a combination of if and is error. Now you can see that I have this drop down, and this is exactly what I want as the drop down list here. So, for example, I have these three names. I would want that the next drop down should only show these names. And to do that, I would need to create a named range, a named range which is dynamic so that it gets updated based on these numbers. And to create that named range, let me first create that formula here. So, I type equal to and I select this. F3 and I lock it and I type colon ouch I select F3 I lock it and I type colon and now I type the index formula the beauty of index formula is that if it comes after a colon instead of re uh, returning a value this formula would return a cell reference so this entire formula would give me a range of cells and those range of cells would be these names so that it updates dynamically. Let me show you how it works. I select this entire array in index F4 and in row number I say include rows till where there is a name. So in this case there are four names so it should take this name and to do that it would need row number as four. So what I do, I use count if function. This is the range and I, say, I hit F4 and I say the criteria is this should have at least one character in it. So I use question mark and asterisk. Question mark represents one single character and asterisk can represent any number of single uh, any number of characters. So what this means is the criteria is that it should have at least one character. Now, when I hit enter, oops, it is suggesting some correction. Okay, I forgot to include a parenthesis. I use it and I hit enter. And you see this gives me a value error. 
but in reality if you select this entire formula and hit F9 it gives you these four names now let's see how it dynamically gets updated I would go back and I delete Joe and here I type Mary so you can see there are three names that I've included already and here these three names do not appear and hence their numbers do not appear these remaining numbers get stack up here and these names get stack up here and now when I go to this formula select it, this and press F9 this gives me the name of all those names here so you can see it has automatically updated earlier uh, Mary was here and uh, Joe was not here but now these four names are here so what I need to do is I would hit control Z to go back to the formula and I would select this formula this entire formula and I would use this formula to create a named range and to do that I would go to formulas here I have name manager and within name manager I would click on new to create a new named range here I would give a name drop down list and in the refers to field I would type the formula let me check if everything is right in the formula yes everything is perfect I click OK now this has created a named range drop down list and I would use this drop down list here so to do that I would go to data data validation and in data validation I select list and in source I type drop down list if you do not remember the name just hit F3 and it will show you the name and you can just double click on this and I hit OK and now I have the drop down list where all these names appear now see what happens when I select Greg here the name Greg does not appear here you can see that all these names appear but as soon as I select say Tom here then this name would not appear here so these multiple drop down lists are all connected they get dynamically updated because of the named range that we have used and as soon as I make a selection here I select Arjun here and you can see that these three names do not appear I select Mary here and I only have these three names left because these four names have already been selected so this becomes a case where there are multiple drop downs but when made when a selection is made it becomes exclusive and it does not repeat in other drop down list where you have used a named range that gets dynamically updated so this is how you can create multiple drop downs without repetition i hope you found this video useful thank you and have a nice day